Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a first impressions video of the Shebe powder that I got from Shebhair.com. So stay tuned. This company is based in France but they ship internationally and I think this is a good option for people that live in the UK or just Europe in general because the shipping would be cheaper and quicker I'd assume than if you get it from overseas and it's also as far as I know a reputable company because it was recommended by Miss Sahel in her vlog when she was um, doing a documentary about the Chadian women and how they apply Shebe to their hair. The first thing I'll talk about is the smell of the Shebe powder mix. Um, I found that it has different levels to it because in a lot of the videos that I watch they will specify one aspect to it but when I smell it I do smell certain different levels of things which could be explained by the fact that it has different ingredients in it which will probably have different smells. So the first one I'll talk about in the scent profile fancy, is the resin aspect to it. Now there's something in, in it, there's an ingredient in it called misic and misic is a resin and if you've ever used natural resins as an incense, like you've burnt it for the smell of it, it has that quality to it. So the Chebe, Chebe powder mix has that resinous quality to it, and which I happen to enjoy. The next thing, it kind of smells like to me, or is very similar in smell of, is Bombay mix. Now Bombay mix is sort of like an Indian trail mix, although it's a snack in itself but if you want to have the equivalent it's like a trail mix but an Indian version so it has fried lentils peanuts in it and then spices and so it has that quality to it to some degree another similarity is to azuki beans and if you've had um, red bean mochi which is basically azuki beans that is used as a filling in a Japanese sweet it has a certain um, similarity to that as well so we've got the Bombay mix we've got the resin and we've got the azuki beans in some of the videos that I watched um, someone likened it to the smell of cigarettes but I find it specifically to the after smell of a cigarette when you smoked it so it's not like tobacco before you smoked it it's after you've lit it up put cigarette out and there's that after smell it's similar to that and it especially smells like cigarette after you've applied it to your hair. So somehow the other smells tend to filter out and the, the smell of cigarette kind of lingers. So yeah, it has an element of that. Another smell is the oud quality smell. It's in the family of things like sandalwood and patchouli. So these kind of earthy, woody smells, it has an element of that as well. And lastly, burnt sage. So if you've ever done smudging and you've had a sage stick and you've burnt it and you've passed the smoke around and then you've put out the smudge stick so it doesn't burn anymore. If you smell the smudge stick, it also has a quality that's similar to that. And I find that if you mix all of these smells together, you get the cheddar. So it's nutty, spicy, herby, woody, resinous kind of smell all in one. And I don't think it's a bad smell. It's different. So it's different to your other perfumes that you, you use on a regular basis. But it's not bad unless you don't like it. I feel it's worth saying that I've, I've got the Shebe powder mix in my hair. And I'm wearing a wig on top of it obviously to be more presentable. Because I don't want to have to use headscarves all the time. So I will put this wig so I can put the Shebe underneath it and it'll be just fine and I haven't had any comments about a smell or what's that smell when I've been in public. I've been in lecture theatres amongst other students to my left, to my right, up, down, seminar halls and no one has made mention to a smell, not even in my peripheries. Like no one has mentioned anything about odd smell. So it's either that it's not detectable or if it is detectable it's not anything majorly bad. So I haven't noticed any like odd looks or hmm, what's that I haven't noticed any of that and I'm very self-conscious I can be quite self-conscious so I would notice it but I haven't even noticed the smell and when I'm at home and I just put a headscarf around my head so the powder doesn't drop off 
I know it's the smell, but when I'm in public with the wig on and it's election fit, it's hot, it's warm, steam is being created underneath the wig, whatever you want to call it, I haven't noticed any smells. So that's maybe a bit important for you to know that it's not easily detectable or it's not that bad enough that you'll get comments from people, especially if you have you wear perfume. So I believe that the longer you leave it in your hair, if you wear perfume, the perfume can actually disguise the smell if you're worried about that, especially if you're wearing a wig on top. On the contrary, if you're wearing a light scarf, the smell may be a bit more detectable. So depending on what you wear and how thick it is, will depend on the smell. So the next thing I will talk about in regards to the Shebe powder is the routine I plan on using for applying it to my hair and going about my business in my daily life. Um, I plan on using it every Saturday and leaving it in for seven days maximum. This will just make it easier for me to keep track of it and just to manage my life because I don't want to overcomplicate things, especially when it's so fiddly and especially when it's normally um, a routine done in cultures that don't have these types of you know activities that they have to do so I'll first be doing it every Saturday and leave it in for seven days I'll of course be wearing a wig on top of it just so I could just have my hair styled and I prefer to do that instead of using a headscarf because it's just a bit more stable because there's been many times where my headscarf has unraveled and I don't want powder falling everywhere but my wig has never fallen off. In all the years I've been wearing wigs, I've never had such a faux pas where my wig has blown off in the wind. <laughs> Although I have been quite nervous about that happening. Because you know, sometimes you're worried about your edges and you don't want to put the clips on the edges and so you just pull it on your head like a hat. And it's been a windy day and you think, whoop, someone's gonna do that. Or someone's gonna say, I like your hair and then it just falls off. <laughs> so nothing like that has ever happened. So. Having a wig on is a bit more stable than a headscarf. So that's why I'm going to be wearing it with a wig. So I've already established that I'm going to be doing it every Saturday, um, even in for seven days. And I plan on doing this for four weeks, but I might make it longer depending on what my schedule is like. So I may do it for six weeks or seven weeks, it just depends. But I'll update you as time goes on. But my initial plan is to do it for four weeks, like without washing my hair, just do it how the women in the video did it. I'm not washing my hair unless I'm going somewhere because like this Friday I'm going to wash my hair because I'm going to style my hair differently but the, if something like that doesn't happen every seven days because I'm extending it longer than they did because in the video they say they'll do it every five days but I'm going to do it every seven days I'm going to employ the baggy method and just use a shower cap on the fourth day to give an extra boost of moisture um, I may do and have an extra coating of oil and water, it'll just depend on how I see fit. In terms of the mixture, I plan on only using oils because I know some people use conditioners like Shea Moisture Conditioner or whatever, but I'm not going to use that because I don't have any conditioners, I don't use conditioner in that sense. Um, so I'll use oil, I'll use a mix of par red palm oil, avocado oil and olive oil because these are very moisturising oils from what I've read and I'm going to apply it like they did in the video so it's going to alternate from dampening my hair, putting oil on, applying the powder on top, rubbing it through, applying some more water, some more oil, some powder and then braiding it. So that's my plan. Um, as I said before, I have got the Cheve powder mix in my hair now, but I didn't want to record it when I was in it then because I wasn't sure what I was doing and I just didn't want to stress myself out trying to record it on the first go. But what I did, which is different, is I've applied the Cheve powder to most of my hair but just left a piece where I didn't apply the Cheve powder and because I do plan on showing the effects of it, I thought it would be good to have one area that I've applied the Shebe powder which is pretty much all of my head and then one area where I haven't applied it and I'm just going to use the oil so every time I'm applying the Shebe powder to the rest of my hair I'm just going to apply wet this side that's the part without Shebe powder and then put the oil on it 
and then at the end of the four weeks or at the end of the six weeks I do a video saying look here's the difference and hopefully it's gonna be a major difference and we can say the Shebe powder mix is a raven success when I did apply the Shebe powder to my hair it took about 45 minutes um, in total that included applying it braiding it and the cleanup operation afterwards because there was powder all over my sink so I had to clean up and that took about 45 minutes in total if we're not counting me washing my hair because I washed my hair before so it was about 15 minutes so all in all from washing my hair and applying the mix was one hour I'm thinking though when I reapply it because I'm not going to be washing my hair it will take a little lot less time so probably about 30 minutes hopefully if I don't overcomplicate the procedure the routine if I just do it simply hopefully it can take a shorter time and lastly lastly but not least me <laughs> I'm going to try and make a Shebe oil infusion which I've started already you just put some oils and then the Shebe powder and then left it in my heating cupboard to infuse the reason why this just gave me the idea is on the Shebe hair website they have a Shebe oil infusion but I wasn't able to buy it because it was out of stock and it goes out of stock quickly because even the Shebe powder <laughs> it was like out of stock for like a month and then it had like a couple of days where it was in stock and I just bought two pots and then the next day out of stock so it goes quickly so I wasn't able to get the infusion oil but I thought you know what let me try and make my own if they infused it I'm sure it's obviously possible so I'm trying to do that so hopefully at the end of the six weeks or the four weeks however long I do it the oil will have a good infusion and I'll be able to use it for my hair especially on times where let's say I'm not able to use the powder in my hair and I just, but I still want to have some level of effect of it then I'll use the Shebe oil and this is especially the case when I'm going to be working in hospitals because of the shift pattern I may not have time to do this or that sometimes after I've worked in a hospital I just need to shower myself and wash my hair thoroughly just for comfort because I just get so uncomfortable and feeling like I'm just a walking cesspool of bacteria so I need to just like wash my hair wash my body scrub everything so I don't want to have to be spending 45 minutes applying Shebe powder to my hair and waste the product by washing it off the next day. So sometimes I may just want to use the oil just to give it a little bit of a top up with some of the infused goodness of the Shebe. So hopefully that will be a success. And that is it for the video. That is it for my first impressions of the Shebe powder. Um, hopefully good things will come of it and hopefully you found the video informative. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more and to keep up to date with my progress and my journey with Chevy Powder and my hair journey. And also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Your feedback is welcome and much appreciated. I would love your feedback. So do not hesitate to leave a comment and a thumbs up and a subscribe, click the subscribe button. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, great night, great week, great month, great year, great life, and tune in next time. Bye-bye.